Hi, boys and girls. It's Friday. It's time for another episode of Justin's Rant. And today uh, couldn't come at a better time because uh, the Fearless Mama got shut down. Now, before you start thinking that Justin's about to bash the Fearless Mama, I'm not. I'm actually going to hold off from that. But here's my thing. I want you to take heed of this information. Okay. Now, for instance, number one, um, listen, there is a way that you can take all these wonderful, awesome systems. Um, you know, they come out every so often, right? And what you could do is you could go uh, get on these systems. You can run a whole bunch of uh, solo ads or Facebook ads or what, or any kind of traffic method you prefer, right? Build your email list up, keep on promoting it. When it gets shut down, you jump onto the newest thing and then you keep on promoting that, doing the same tactic, getting new solo ads and all that stuff. And just you just keep building your email list and keep hitting them with a whole bunch of thousand different freaking things. And it does work. And there are some people that are actually doing it out there. And there are some people that are really, really, really successful with it. But it, here's my thing. It's necessarily not for me because if I'm putting my name out there and everything, I, I'm kind of like to the point where I'm tired of it. And and I know I even put the Fearless Mama on my you know, YouTube account. I'm probably going to go ahead and take that video down because it's kind of sad that I was sitting there promoting something that uh, to the point where... I don't want to talk about the individual who created it. It's just it, it got to the point where that person wasn't even marketing their own product. Right. And they made it. You know what I mean? And so that's the crazy thing about it. And um, and I'm not talking bad about that person. It's just because, you know, I mean, th that person has done a lot of cool education, but it's also to the point where it's like, wow, they didn't even, you know, they stopped promoting their own product. Like, how do you stop promoting like your own product? And so. In a sense, this is what I really wanted to rant about was, guys, if you're going to join some of these systems, uh, me personally, what I would do is pick one that has been a while, uh, been around for a while, that is making people money. And also, man, go out there and start your own business. You learn better from the skills. Like, okay, for me, instant, for instance, right, I was promoting MCA, I was promoting MCA a lot, and then MCA did this whole... Um, this whole change on the comp plan, which is perfectly fine, man. I mean, you know, a lot of people are still promoting MCA and, and overall the service alone for MCA is actually really, really good. So if you got in it too for the service, that's great. The reason why I canceled everything for me is because I didn't like the fact that they did, uh, they did, they changed the comp plan, which was fine, but then it's like they did me wrong. And I was a big advocate and that's, that's what I did not like that for me. I don't care how good your service is. If you treat me like crap, I feel like I'm out, right? Like that, that's the thing. Like right now, um, I, I just paid a whole bunch for my cell phone bill. And why do I keep paying a huge cell phone bill when there's all these other companies out there where I could get unlimited everything for like 40 bucks? Well, the reason why is because I like the service, but when you shit on me, you know what I mean? Then I want to go. And so and that's kind of what's happened with these systems, right? I've been promote. Uh, once I left MCA, I started promoting a couple of different systems and then they started to shit on me. And it's like, man, I don't want to do that no more. And so the reason why you probably still see me doing things like Abundance Network is because at least Abundance Network now is just a tool. Now, I don't mind helping out with people as far as tools go, but I really just don't like for me, like I rather just kind of do my own product. And that's what I would tell you. And here's the other advice that I can pretty much give you, right? Get a tool or get a system or get a company that services the masses, right? Because here's the thing, guys, there's always going to be a new CBD product. There's, I mean, now listen, and don't get me wrong, guys, if, if you're sold on CBD, you're sold on CBD, promote CBD, do all that good stuff, right? If you're sold on coffee and you like organo gold or whatever the case may be, go sell your coffee. I'm not hating on that. What I'm saying is for those people that are just jumping around everywhere, my best advice to you is to find something that can service the masses, right? So here's the thing. I took it upon myself to go back to training. Why? From all the stuff, all the ups and downs that I learned and learned how to market, what I'm doing is I'm sharing that on Facebook, right? I'm giving Facebook training. Now, why did I do that? Because I don't have to join a company, right? I don't care about what company who comes to me because I can teach you how to market it on Facebook, right? So what I'm saying is I service the masses, all right? And that's why I'm telling you, get with a company that does that because that's the cool thing, man. You won't care if somebody blew up in this or blew up in that or, or made, you know, a thousand dollars in this or made $500 here. 
Because why? Because you're servicing the masses, all right? You're, you're making, uh, you're giving everybody a way to better themselves, which is a really, one, it's a really cool feeling, but two, you know what I mean? Like you won't be worried about trying to pull somebody into business and then the business just gets shut down and then you feel bad. Like on some of these people, I feel bad. I, I get them in, they make some money and then the, the business shuts down. And so, and it, and it makes it look like it's a reflection of me, but it's not like sometimes like, you know, you can't be beating up on these people if these companies shut down because it's not their fault. They, they thought they were doing the next right thing. And then this, this crap happened. Well, I don't want to join anything that I think it's just going to get shut down. Now, some of you might say, well, Justin, sometimes we don't know what's going to get shut down. And I get that. Sometimes you don't know what's going to shut down. And so you put your all into it. But that's why I'm trying to tell you either get a company that services the masses because those are less likely to shut down, right? So like if you were joining MLSP, right? MLSP has an affiliate program and it services all these network marketers and marketers, right? Uh, ClickFunnels, ClickFunnels has an affiliate program, right? And it services the masses, right? It helps realtors, it helps anybody sell a product online, right? So those are great affiliate programs to be a part of or any training programs. But ultimately the best thing that I can tell you guys is learn how to market and then create your own product, whatever the case that may be, right? Now, some of you like drop shipping and you wanna use Amazon and all that, and that's great, go ahead and do drop shipping. But for those that I'm talking about that follow stuff like Fearless Mama or try to get into a new program after new program, unless you have tons of money and you're building your email list and you're just following that simple process and you can go do that, I don't care, you know, be my guest. You can promote the newest, hot thing, hottest thing every other week or every other three weeks because there's always something coming out, right? But if you want something that's like like great substantial growth and something that you feel, you know, comfortable telling your best friend to join you on, right? Then I would say go produce your own product and now is a better time than ever to do that, right? You can give, you can make an ebook about your favorite thing. Like some of you like to cook, you know, start your own cooking channel. Some of you like to do a podcast, start your own podcast. Maybe some of that will st take a little time to build up, but I promise you, you can do it. There's a way to package it. I know a lot of guys that make money. I mean, look at the music industry right now, bro. I mean, anybody in the world can become an overnight success and it's very easy. Why do you think some of these guys in the music industry, they didn't even have a record deal and they were selling out, right? right? Because all they did was make one hot song and when that song blew up and everybody started listening to it, well then guess what? People were willing to pay them big money to get them to their show because they knew, man, if I could put these people in my club, then I, I could sell tickets in my club and my money can go up and so they are willing to pay these guys. So that's why these guys were making so much money and they didn't even have a record deal yet. And it's all because of the internet. So you just gotta know how to package your stuff up and market it and that's what I'm gonna tell you to do, all right? So this is Justin's rant. I'm not really clowning on Fearless Mama or anything like that. It's just, it's just another one that shut down. It just is another example that that's what they're going to do. And like, if you want to run in those and you want to hit it big, then the best thing that I can tell you is just dive, 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 dive into as many solo ads as you can. Make sure you're building your own email list and then go to the next thing, go to the next thing and go to the next thing and keep promoting to your email list. But if you want to change that, Find something that can service the masses and then go out there and do it. And best of all, if you can create your own product, your own training, whatever, like I know some people that, um, you know, started an online training business, right? A personal training business to lose weight. You could go do that. And it's so easy to do. Why? Because you're servicing the masses. You could go into click funnels and you can service the masses. You know, other marketers are going to need that website are going to need that service. And as, a, as all these marketers keep coming out and more people are running online, it's easy to service them. It's easy to get to them. Right. And then not to mention, um, you know, they, they also have the cookies and everything. So click funnels is a really good one. That's I was just going to tell you click funnels is a really good one. And you can service so many other people than just somebody that wants to make some money, right? You can, you can service a whole bunch of other people, right? You can service the people that are already spending the money, right? Rather than just trying to find the guy that, you know, says, well, I don't know. I don't know. It looks like a scam to me right now. Instead, you're servicing the people that are already known to spend spend money and already want to spend money because they want to learn, they want to grow, and they want to really, really change and make money online. And they're willing to drop that money. That's what it is, man. So anyways, that's my rant. You know what I mean? And I know I didn't really go off in this rant. Hopefully, I just kind of educated you, man, that 
look, these things happen, man. These things happen and it sucks because it makes you feel bad. It makes you feel like shit. It makes you feel like, oh man, I, I pulled somebody else in and then look what happened. But don't be mad at the person that that hap I mean, that, that pulled you in. Instead, just be mad at the fact that, hey man, the, these systems, man, they do this stuff, man. And then, you know what? Now there's already a new system, you know? And it, it's just, it's bullshit. Really it is, man. It, it's, you know, I mean, and that's the thing. Some people are making money off of it, so I'm not going to clown on them and more power to them. And if that's how they want to do it. But I just don't I don't want to be known for that, man. I don't want to be known for that. I'd rather give you something that you're going to get that's actually going to help you. That actually is going to say, oh, shit, I actually made some money. I actually did something with this. I actually went somewhere. I actually changed my life. I actually, um, you know what I mean? Like. And, and, you know, if they always point back at you, that's awesome. Hey, man, I changed because of him. You know what I mean? And that that's a way better feeling than just saying, oh, I made a little bit of money. You know what I mean? Who gives a shit if you made a thousand bucks? You know what I mean? Thousand dollars. Come on. Anybody can do that. A couple thousand. Come on. Anybody can do that. You know what I mean? A couple hundred. Whoop de do. You know what I mean? I mean, shit, we, nowadays, a hundred dollars just goes like it's nothing, right? So you want something that's substantial money, substantial growth and life-changing. So that's my two cents. There you go. Happy Friday.